Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I wanna show you the number one Google Maps mistake almost everyone is making. Watch this. This one's for my buddy, Darren Marion from Retail SEO. I miss you and I love you, brother. All right, guys, so I hope everybody's doing great. So let's get right to the point. The biggest mistake everybody's making, or almost everybody's making, is not using a grid report, grid reporting software. The grid reporting software I'm talking about is either Local Falcon, Local Viking, Bright Local. There's a bunch out there. Pick the one that you like best, right? Um, think of it like this. Uh, you're trying to lose weight, but you don't have a scale. What this is, is a measuring device, right? For only for Google Maps. That's what I specialize in. I specialize in Google Maps. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of things that we're going to do to, um, to turn areas you're not ranking in to areas you are ranking in or turning grid maps from red to green, right? So that's what we're going to do in this video. However, we need a starting point. If you don't have a starting point, you don't know where you're going. And the reason why I say that is because uh, I speak with uh, uh, people who watch my videos and they tell me either they're ranking very well or they're not ranking at all. And I ask them just one question, how do you know? And they say, well, you know, I type the uh, keyword and I show up I pop up or I don't pop up is usually what people say. And, um, you know, I asked them, how about 10 miles away or five miles away? And they either say they drive to a location and check it or they have a friend check it. That's no way to do SEO. If you're serious about ranking, and I, I'd assume if you're watching this video, you're, you're, you're serious about ranking in the Google 3-pack, right? This isn't a type of video that you just fall upon. You don't just, you know, this isn't this. This doesn't show up in your YouTube queue uh, because you may like it. You have you, you've, you've shown some interest in this type of work and you, you're interested in ranking in the Google three pack. You need a starting point. Now, look, I have an affiliate link in the in the bottom. You don't need to click it if you want to just go right to local Falcon. You don't have to click the affiliate link. It's the same price. Or you could go to a uh, local Viking or you could go to bright local and get, but you need a grid report. You need a starting point for each keyword because then you need to create a plan for ranking in the Google three pack, right? So if you call me or if you text me, I I'm telling you the first question that I'm going to ask you is what grid reporting software are you using? If you say you're not using any grid reporting software, I mean, that's fine, but we can't really have a conversation whether you're ranking or not. We don't know whether you're ranking until you use grid reporting software. Local Falcon, I believe, is just about the cheapest at $24.95. Uh, uh, and I'm sorry, I forgot another one. Um, localdominator.co, not .com, .co, local dominator. I'll put them in the description below I'll put all the uh, I'll put all the grid software but you, you need a starting point you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you're starting so please get grid reporting software one of the one of the softwares I, I mentioned anyone if you want to use my affiliate link it's it's below let's go over a couple of strategies thanks hey guys so just before I go any further you could go over to Fiverr and check out this fella Matt marketing and I think for $10, he'll do a grid report for you. So if you uh, are not ready or you don't have the funds yet to start a monthly uh, subscription, start off with this. The fellow's name is Matt Marketing over at Fiverr. And for $10, he'll do a, a, a grid report. That's what it appears to do. Uh, that's what it appears to say on his, uh, on his ad here. So just go over to Fiverr, Matt marketing and listen while we're here so i don't have to break the the uh, video again please leave me a uh, thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel because it helps get the channel out to other people who are looking for this type of fantastic fantastic information thank you guys all right guys so we want to do three things and they're very very easy you'll be able to do them today 
Okay, we want to do three things. The first thing that we want to do is we want to identify what area of the grid we need to work on, right? Like I said before, we have the red areas and we have the green areas. We want to work in the red areas because we want to turn them green, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is log into our Google business profile. The way that I like to do it is just go to Google and type in your brand name. So for example, if I type in Mindsaw, I will see the Google business profile right here. But you have to use the Gmail account that you registered the Google business profile with. The other way to do it is just to go to google.com slash business and sign in and click your listing, okay? Either way, you're gonna come to a section that looks like this and you're going to click add update. Very simple. You're going to go to the first one that says add update. And you're going to add a description. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to write about that area and the service that you provided that is in red. Right. So uh, a lot of people use chat GPT. You could use that or you could just write it yourself. Very simple. You want to write um somewhere around four or 500 words about the area that you just did a job in or that you'd like to do a job in or that you see that could use improvement in that area. You want to mention what you do and the and the area by using some addresses, maybe some uh, some points of interest that are in that red area. The next thing you want to do is you want to add a photo a picture in that area. You don't necessarily have to drive to that area. What you could do is just go to Google. Yeah, let me show you. So I once said that I grew up here. So you go to this area. We're, we're going to say that, that this area is in red and we're trying to rank at 76 Jules Drive. So now Google recognizes this picture as 76 Jules Drive right there. So what I'll do is I'll just take some, um, I'll just take a screenshot of this area and I'll just take, and I'll put that picture right here in the add pictures. Okay. So you want to do anywhere between three and five posts a week about the work that you did or that you want to do in that area. So the first thing is Google business profile posts. You want to create posts. The next thing you want to do is on your website, you want to add a page somewhere on your website about uh, maybe like a white paper, white papers page on what you did in that area and that specific area at 76 Jules Drive. What work did you specifically do or do you want to do? Once again, it could be written in chat GPT. So you need it in your Google business profile. You need uh, a page about it on your website. And then the last thing you want to do is you want to come over to um, your Google reviews. Right? So if you click reviews, and write a review, you want to have somebody write a five-star review about that they were at, for example, 76 Jules Drive and they, uh, and uh, you know, you did a beautiful power washing or pressure washing job or whatever you do in that area. You want to name some points of interest, different addresses, the zip code that you're in, the people that you worked for, the name of your company, how long you've been in business, who they dealt with, you know, stuff like that. You want to really give a very detailed review and you want to do anywhere between three and five reviews over the next week, right? Uh, uh, talking about that. Now, one thing that I, that I omitted is it would be best if that person was actually standing in that area, was actually standing at that address while they did the review, right? Because Google tracks your cell phone. There are some ways to do it uh, that I don't necessarily 
uh, either agree with or I don't talk about on my on my channel. But if you dug in a little bit, you may be able to find them on other on other channels. But you know, optimally, you want that person actually to be standing at that address while doing the review. Okay, so once again. In order to rank in the Google three pack, the first thing you need to do is you need to measure where you're ranking or where you're not ranking. Then you want to make a change on your Google business profile and put that area in the Google business profile. I think a good place to put it is Google posts. You want to do three to five per week. Next thing you want to do is you need to add on your website that you've done work in this specific area. You want to write it uh, somewhere between uh, 500 and 1,000 words. Once again, you could use chat GPT to have, have it written, look it over, add and delete, whatever you know sounds good for you. And then the third thing you want is a review, a detailed review, uh, uh, optimally coming from somebody who's actually standing at that address. However, if you can't get the person to actually stand in that address, at least mention things specific at that address and the service that you provided for them, who they dealt with, the name of your company. Okay, you do those three things over the next two weeks. I guarantee you're going to move. You're going to move up. Now, depending on how far away you were, right? I can't guarantee you'll be in the three pack if you're two hundred of 200 people and you, you know you have 200 people 200 other businesses in front of you right but if you're somewhere around you know top 10 top 20 uh you'll be in the google three pack or very close to it in two weeks all right all right guys so look i hope this video helped you i actually have another video coming out that I, that is really really interesting but uh this has been a pre uh, a pressing issue lately because like I said, I've been speaking with uh, some of my subscribers who've had some questions and they tell me that they're ranking very well or they're not ranking at all. And when I ask what grid reporting software they're using, they say they're not using any. So, you know, you can't tell me you, you gained 10 pounds or you lost 10 pounds if you didn't know what you weighed before starting, right? So, so that's it. Guys. Please be good to your family. Kiss your wife. Kiss your kids. This is what this is all about. The people that follow me, right? There's a lot of people that do this. But specifically, the people that follow me, we all have one thing in common. From what I understand is that we're all trying to grow our businesses. This isn't beer money for us, right? This is to take care of our family. This is to, to, this is to put uh, uh, our kids in, have a better education. And, um, and, and to do nice, memorable things with our family. And that's the reason why we want to be in the Google 3-pack. And people that work with me is that's the common theme, right? That's the common theme. That's the reason why most people work with me is because, is because of this family issue. It's very important that we're all able to take care of our family. And being in the Google 3-pack is going to make it a lot easier for you to... Uh, you know, pay your bills and hire more staff and, and have the life that you want to have, right? That's, that's ultimately the goal. So guys, have a great day and we will see you the next time. Take care, guys. Bye.